everybody, it's Bridget, director of Dreams Can Come True. So, now that the summer incentive is completely all done and we all know who earned it, who didn't, um, it is now time to start planning the fun for our leadership cruise coming up in January. So, one thing that we did that was fun that seems like a lot of people enjoyed while on the incentive cruise over the summer was a thing that I pitched about doing an FE exchange. Now, if you are a fan of Disney like I am, then you're probably already familiar with what an FE exchange is. But if you're not, that's the whole point of this video. So, what an FE exchange is, is a fish exchange um, amongst people on the cruises. Um, why it's called fish exchangers is because on the Disney cruises, outside of the rooms, they have little um, fish right beside the um, doors so that the crew can leave um, reminders of maybe dinner reservations that you've had somewhere or tickets for excursions coming up. Um, so that's where the name Fish Extenders come from. Um, so a lot of people ask where the name came from, so that's briefly what that is. So what it is is I will make up a document and it'll group us into groups. Now this is a completely voluntary thing, so all I need you to do is say and if you want to join it or if you want don't want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. Um, but it's fun um, and it's kind of exciting to do amongst adults. Um, definitely. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so what you do is you get a little FE hanger, like this one right here. This is the one that I had made for the summer cruise. Um, and it has my na team name on the top, Dreams Can Come True. And then it holds a little pocket because my husband went with me on the summer incentive one. Um, so that's what you would hang on the outside of your door. Some people brought extra little command hooks or some people just hung it on their doorknob. It's completely up to you what you want to do. Um, but this is the FE hanger, so you'll hear me talk about this one a lot. Um, I actually had mine made on eBay. Some people get crafty and make their own. It's completely up to you. So what you do is I'll get the document. I will put us all in groups um, after everybody's commented whether or not they want to do this or not. And then about 30 days out is when I will close it. Please, please, please do not comment or commit to doing this exchange unless you plan on doing it. Um, because a lot of people, once they get assigned a group, will go ahead and start getting gifts done. And a lot of people don't buy gifts or make gifts. A lot of people will have them bought. And sometimes the really cute ones are personalized gifts. So we had a couple people back up the last time and it kind of messed up the other people in the group because they bought personalized gifts for people with names and stuff. So please do not commit to this unless you're willing to commit because it does get kind of upsetting after people start buying. Um, but I will get people into groups. Um, the group size hasn't been determined yet. We might do a small group of six or we might do a larger one of 11. Um, but once that's done and you're put into a group, what you're going to do is everybody's names and cabin numbers will be listed. Um, and then you just pretty much buy little gifts for the people that are in your group. Um, there will be two people in each cabin, and you're going to buy gifts for each person in that cabin. So for each cabin, there's going to be two people. So if we end up doing groups of six cabins, that means you're going to end up buying ten gifts for the other five cabins. If we end up doing a group of 11, you're going to be buying for the ten other cabins, meaning 20 little gifts. And again, it's completely up to you. If you want to do one gift for throughout the whole cruise, or you can do multiple gifts throughout the cruise. Again, completely up to you. Do whatever you'd like to do. Um, people ask, well, what kind of gifts do we give? Um, if you look on Etsy or Pinterest and you type in FE gifts, so many different ideas are going to come up. Um, some cute ones that I think I saw during the cruise this summer were koozies, um, makeup bags, shot glasses, um, just anything like that. It, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be something sensory related. It can be something cruise related. It's completely up to you. Um, but then with having everybody's cabin numbers, you make little labels because once you get on the ship, you're probably not going to sell phone service. So you want to know where to deliver these gifts to. And then you pick a day or multiple days to go and you deliver your gifts. Um, you do make little name tags so that people know who to thank afterwards for the gifts that you gave them. Um, and it's just fun and exciting to come back to your room every night and find little gifts from different Scentsy sisters um, at the end of the night. So I hope that answers most of the questions. Um, if it didn't, feel free to ask a question um, underneath this video, and I will try to answer as best as I can. And I will get up the sign-up list as soon as I can as well. 
and I hope you guys all enjoyed our Scentsy version of Epi Exchange. Bye guys!